Quinn Local 6 was proud to host an open casting call for the amazing race today at Big Al's in Beaverton. Hundreds braved the soggy cold weather for a one minute audition on camera. That's their chance to be a contestant on the CBS hit show where 11 teams compete for $1 million on a 25 day trip around the world. When we saw the line about a half mile outside of the building. We were like, dang, it should have brought an umbrella and maybe a jacket or something. Colby Gratzer is one of the many who waited in a long line in the rain for a chance to be on the amazing race. There's no reason why we shouldn't win this. So we're best friends and we're good looking. Brian Allinger also underprepared for the weather, but he found ways to pass the time. My sister in law and I always thought that uh, we'd be pretty good at this. So once inside, potential contestants waited for coin local. Six anchors like Jeff Gianola to call their number. Here's our next batch of numbers. Are you ready? Here we go. 5077. The closer they got to the audition, the more their nerves started showing. I just thought that our audition Five, zero, or our one nine, minute under two. the camera was really Five, stressful. Zero. Some contestants using humor to try and stand out from the crowd. I'm Darcy. I'm Tara. We're the VIP winners from Boise, Idaho. We're here for Bachelor, right? But for corrections officers Steve and Larry, they decided to just be themselves. My name's Larry. I'm Steve. Okay, we're both 49 years old. We're both, uh, well, we're both, uh, correction deputies, correction officers. We like to call ourselves the editors. All those recorded auditions will be sent to the casting producers of The Amazing Race. And if any of the teams catch their attention, they could be invited to the next round of auditions. And of course, they'll be one step closer to winning a million dollars. Well, Sally Showman. You